skeleton That's right. I have nobody to dance with tonight come on, come on, come on, I feel it in my lazy, lazy bone Oh, it's Halloween, my medicine My medicine The full moon up there brings me back to life Just once a year, the people fit me Oh, it's Halloween It's Halloween The ghosts and spiders up inside it Don't try to run don't try to hide, don't try to hide Because you're coming home with skeleton tonight I said, I don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, you're coming home with me tonight, you yeah, know, no Halloween isn't scary Boo! Oh my goodness! Oh, not me! Help me! Help! Hey it's Halloween season. I literally just made a video the other day about how to make five outfits for girls inside of Robloxy in high school. And you guys, you guys loved it. And uh, I did kind of say in that video, well, if you guys get a certain amount of likes, then I'll do one for boys. And uh, you know what you guys did? Come closer. I just want to whisper it. A tiny bit closer. You guys hit the flipping X dab. Oh, over that like button and so I have no choice but to create this video right here which is how to create five outfits for boys and guys I have some sick outfits inside of this video which is how to create five different Halloween outfits for boys and guys I have some of the sickest outfits you're gonna get all dressed up and you're gonna go and fool us on literally every single person Oh my goodness, it's a ghost. What's your name? I have a boyfriend. Wait, what? But I, I, I didn't even say anything. You know what? Never mind. So guys, we have some pretty awesome creations to give you today. And what we're going to do is literally remove everything I'm currently wearing, get me naked, and then we'll start beginning our transformation. So as always, guys, just come to the wearing selection, come to tuning, and click all of the boxes just like that. You could also click reset avatar, press wear, come back to the avatar editor, and then wait, what the heck? Why is that girl there? Do you want to be my girlfriend? Wait, did she just say no? <laughs> Guys, once you are looking like this, you're ready for your transformation. So the first thing we're going to make, guys, is the mummy. And that looks just like this. Pretty flipping cool, right? And guys, this is one of the easiest ones to make. But you can alternatively literally change your head to look something more like this. If you want to have your face showing. And yeah, I know it looks pretty cool. It's got bandages around the face and stuff. But anyway, let me show you how this is done. So once you have reset your avatar, what you need to do is come to the body selection first of all. And come to the right arm selection. We are going to want to search mummy just like that. Now guys, there's two options you can go for here. There's this one and this one. One is more zombie looking and has like a few like tassels hanging off and stuff. And one is more ancient looking, which is the one we're going going for today called the cursed mummy of ramses 2 right arm guys equip the right arm the left arm also the torso and i guess the right leg and left leg as well next guys you have to decide whether you want to have your head showing or not so if you don't come to the wearing selection and equip uh, this one right here, as you can see, it matches. It's called the Cursed Mummy of Ramses. Just equip that, and it will match the body. Then come to tuning, and just make it slightly bigger, and bring the position of it up just like that. Now, guys, if you don't want the mummy head, then simply remove the mummy head, and keep your normal head, and simply just equip whatever hair you have. Maybe you have a hairstyle like this, and then come over and equip this by coming to the wearing selection come to hats search mummy again and what you want to equip is this one right here now you can leave it like that or you can go to tuning make it smaller and bring the rotation of it down so his eyes look through the holes just like that and then guys come to animations and give him something like the toy animation because it will make him stand a bit more like a mummy or maybe the superhero one it's entirely up to you but uh yeah as long as he looks something like that you've done a good job and that is how you make the mummy so next up guys we're going to be making the ghost and guys this is the finished result of the ghost he is big he is bad he is flipping terrifying he even has this little thing that comes down here it's actually scary as heck but guys let's begin this transformation 
So again, guys, once you are your base plate, just like I am, the first step that we need to do is to come to the body selection. So once you're here, guys, simply come to the right arm and, uh, well, I guess you could leave it equipped as man or alternatively change it to superhero right arm and do that for the body and the arms. But what you do need to change is come to your right leg and simply search core blocks. Just like that, equip the core blocks death speaker right leg and also the left leg, just like that. Then come to scaling, click advanced, make him taller, open the width up and make his upper body wider, just like that. Then guys, make the head scale bigger too and a bit taller, I guess. I mean, being tall is good for a ghost. Next, guys, come to the colors palette and equip this white right here. Then also come over to the animation selection and equip the astronaut animation just like that. Next, guys, come to the wearing selection. Come to shirt and remove your shirt so you have a nice body like that. So, guys, next, come to the back selection and search all while like that and equip this ginormous narwhal. And now you need to change the rotation of it. So that it fits inside of this guy and literally has just the fin coming out the bottom. This can take a bit of time, guys. It's not easy. Trust me, it can take a little while. Though some of you seem to get this done first go. It does take a long time. So for those of you that don't get it first go, like I don't every single time, don't feel bad. We're just unlucky that it's taking a bit longer for us. But uh, yeah, something like that. If you can avoid that thing in the head, it's better. But if not, it doesn't matter too much. Next, guys, come to the hat selection. And guys, say... Search GHO and equip this hat right here, which is called the Ghastly Ghoul Mask. Simply then come to tuning and make it full size and bring the position of it up just like that. And guys, you can change the animation if you want to Mage, and that will help hide your feet a lot better. As you can see, it literally completely covers up his feet and lets you be the most terrifying ghost you've ever seen. So guys, so far we have done the mummy, we have done the ghost, and now we're going to do the vampire. Bayer. So, as per usual, reset your avatar and come back into the avatar editor and remove what you're currently wearing. So, guys, the first step is to come to the body selection, come to scaling, click advanced, make him taller and make him skinnier because all vampires in films seem to be very tall and very skinny. And next, guys, simply come to the wearing selection, come to pants, click custom pants and input the following code. Press wear and do the exact same thing for the shirts, guys. So all you've got to do is come over to where it says shirts right here and custom shirt and input the following code and press wear. Next, guys, come to the hat selection and search a vampire where you will be given numerous options that you can equip. You could have something really basic like this. You could even look like this. Guys, I've just equipped my hair. Now, what we want to do is come to the body color selection and make him white just like that. Then come to the face selection and equip this face right here, which is called the beast mode face. Then, guys, come to the animation selection and equip the vampire animation Followed by coming over to wearing, coming to the back selection, and simply just search vamp like that. Equip this vampire cloak right here, bring the position of it up. And you can also come to the next selection as well, which is literally right here. And equip this as well, which is called the vampire collar. And guys, that is how you make a vampire. I wanted him to look kind of more like me. Though if you don't, again guys, just come to the hat selection and equip one of these heads. There's so many to pick from. You could even have this head if you wanted it. But you know, just one of these will do absolutely fine. And it will stop you looking like yourself. See? That's kind of creepy. <coughs> The next one that we're going to make, guys, is the werewolf, and he looks just like this. I know, pretty scary, right? I mean, he's definitely a werewolf. So, guys, this is another incredibly easy one to make. I'm trying to make these as easy as possible for you guys. Simply come to the body selection, come to bundles, and search where, just like that. Where well, you want to equip this, you could, I guess, equip this one right here, but uh, we're not going to do that because that is a complete look. Is that a werewolf? Leader of the pack. Okay, that's just a wolf, I think. But we're going to go with this body shape right here. Come to animations. Equip the werewolf animation. Then come back to the body selection. Come to scaling. Click advanced. Make his height bigger and his width wider just like that. Because we want him to be quite big. Not too big, but quite big. Next, guys, come over to the wearing selection. Come to hats and literally just search wolf just like that and equip this hat right here come to tuning and make it full size guys that was the easiest one so far but definitely one of the coolest <laughs> so so far we've done the mummy we've done the ghost we've done the vampire and now we've done a flipping werewolf next up guys 
is the skeleton. Guys, this is the easier version of the skeleton. Well, actually, it's kind of the harder version because you have to do this all yourself. But I think it's a cool way to do it. Otherwise, you've got to change your whole body into a skeleton. And literally anyone can do that. So I'm going to show you both ways anyway. But I'm going to show you this way first. So guys, this one is incredibly simple. The first step is to come to the body selection. Come to colors. Click any one of these colors here. And just make yourself black just like that. Next, guys, come to the wearing selection and come to hats. Search skeleton and equip this head right here make it slightly bigger and bring it up a little bit just like that and then come to the pants selection click custom pants and put the following code guys pause the video if you need to and then click wear once you've done that and now we're going to do the exact same thing for the shirts so come to shirts click custom shirts and input the following code just like that and press wear and it will give you this amazing look i know that is so stupidly simple i also recommend making him taller because again a lot of skeletons look skinnier and taller so just make him really skinny and really tall just like that you can also change the animation of him to something a bit more cartoony like the toy animation but guys if you're not happy with the way that looks then you can also come to the body selection come to bundles and just search scale and equip this one right here which will make everything absolutely easy but guys that is it that is all five of the costumes that I have to show you. There is going to be a load more costumes coming up this month. I have so many to do just off of the top of my head. What about Frankenstein, Michael Myers? Like, there's literally so many. Freddy Krueger, like, oh my goodness, I've got so many flipping costumes to make. But yes, guys, that is going to be it from me today. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, then guys, remember to hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Alternatively, leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section down below. Remember to like the video if you did indeed like the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! I need to go do a flipping Halloween prank on Chum Chum. I haven't pranked him in ages.